Congress is notorious for not counting the cost and not keeping their promises. But even if they follow through, uh, unlawful immigrants are already receiving many benefits. A lot of their children are legal American citizens, whether it's public education or Medicaid. But if you just look at a 13-year window, when the life expectancy of unlawful immigrants goes another 50 years, and once they get on Social Security and Medicare, I mean, the average cost of an unlawful immigrant is, is hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's a net cost. They pay some taxes, but what they take out of the tax system is much, much greater, and the total is $6.3 trillion over that next 50-year period. Some of what I'm reading from other economists out there who say, you know, we know over the course of history that, you know, increased immigration leads to a bigger economy, which is an, a plus over the long term for the U.S. economy. They say that, you know, that, that those numbers have been backed up over the course of, of, of U.S. history. Well it's, uh, well, it's a point we look forward to debating. In okay. 1960, in 1960, the average immigrant had about the same education and skill level of, a, of an American citizen. Mm -hmm. Today, immigrants have uh, four times, uh, they're four times less likely to even have a high school diploma. And now, with all of our welfare benefits, the arithmetic for immigration is totally different than it was before. So immigration has helped to build our country, but it's been a selective lawful process to come in and give amnesty to lower skill, less educated workers is going to cost our country $6.3 trillion. We already have $17 trillion in debt, and we know that's unsustainable. Mm -hmm. So instead of trying to change the subject, we want Congress to look at the real cost of an amnesty provision and, and immigration reform.